a lot to talk about today, John, but you woke up this morning in L.A. and, and, and there was still tennis on. Yes. <laughs> uh, lucky for you guys, you brought the foremost expert in ridiculous tennis matches <laughs> to the studio on a day where we saw a 22-20 tiebreaker and a match finish at almost 4 a.m. So these are crazy circumstances. As we know, they can happen in the tennis world. I don't think they should happen. I think it's really, really bad for the recovery of the player that wins that late match and the one that loses because you're feeling like absolute crap and your recovery is not as good. When you do lose, you don't sleep as well. So these players you know, probably went to bed around 5, 6 in the morning and they got to try to sleep as much as they possibly can. and get that day, maybe practice a little bit and try to do it again the next day. Mm. Like your use of the word Looney Tunes. You're living in Dallas now. Remember that time the Cowboys played a playoff game that ended at, at 340? No? You don't remember? <laughs> yeah. remember LeBron James uh, played a basketball game almost when the sun came up? Nope. Didn't, didn't happen. Um, everyone jokes about this. We're all having our, our cracks. I think you're right. It's not fair to the player who wins. I mean, look at this. 339. Yeah. It wasn't even the longest one. And we do this year after year. We were told that the tournament was going to start a day early yeah. so the schedule wouldn't be so compressed. Uh, guess what? We got a 339 match. I also think yesterday was a great, great day of tennis. We're going to be talking about these great matches, seeds going to match, tie breaks, upsets all over the grounds. And everybody sort of casually wakes up and everyone's talking about a late match. You know, we talked about this the week before the Australian Open started. The tours came together. OK, we're not going to put a singles match on past 11 mm, p.m. Yeah. We're going to really try and stop these really late finishes. I mean, it helps nobody. I mean, we obviously look at it from the side of the players, but you have a whole staff system that has to be there. You have ball kids. You have, I mean, it, it goes across the whole ground. And you've got people in the home country that are not watching. There's no one that is staying up past midnight, right, or kids on their summer break. So this has to stop, and it's also impossible to come back from it. In, in no other sport, I mean, hopefully they'll put Medvedev late at night again, and I assume they will, but there's also the chance he could play in the day. And yeah. it just seems just crazy what we've got, what has happened. Well, it was 3.39, and John brought this point up earlier. It was a six-love final set. So it <laughs> right. could have been well past 4 a.m. Yep. if Medvedev hadn't bageled him in the fifth.